Hey everybody, I'm Mike with Omega Survival and I'm going to do a review video that I had previously posted a preview of of the 511 Rush 72 um, it's a big backpack uh, it's not a day pack the pack itself dry I believe weighs over six pounds, almost seven pounds dry but nothing in it it's made out of 1,050 denier, I want to say ballistic nylon, not Cordura. Um, it comes in seven colors. It's 2,639 cubic inches of space, which is a lot. Yeah, it's made out of 1,050D ballistic nylon. It's got YKK zippers. It has an internal hydration compartment. It's 23 inches high by 13.5 inches wide by 8.5 inches deep. And excuse me, it weighs 5.16 pounds dry, so almost 6 pounds, not 7. And since I was doing a review of a 511 bag, I figured I'd wear my 511 hat. And I also have a 511 t-shirt on. I got a whole bunch of these. Um, they're affordable, and you can beat the crap out of them. And it doesn't matter so I'm gonna to get to my review let me focus my camera in in the pack there go. there's the pack and let me see if I can get a stand up yardstick here just to show you a size comparison as you can see it's not small and it's pretty wide um, here's a camera back hog that I've done a review of, which is a day pack, which um, I could fit two of these inside of this, and I'm all over the place today. The first thing they have in these is a huge compartment on each side, and there's molly webbing everywhere. There's a row here. To start at the handle, it's doubled over nylon, and there's even a molly webbing there. And I don't believe this is for hydration. I'm pretty sure this is for an antenna, for a radio. The hydration comes out of a different spot. There's another one here, or a butt of a rifle. There's a soft line compartment here for glasses or a small pair of binoculars maybe contacts and this has the yoke the newer upgraded version of the yoke shoulder pads the old one used to have a seam here and uh... i guess they re-engineered that and it's stronger now the way it is here i mean this ballistic nylon it's never going to rip on you anyway. It doesn't matter how much weight you put in it, but the shoulder pads are ergonomic. They're curved to fit you good. <clears throat> and you can put the chest strap on any one of these molly webbings. There's also a loop here. And that's the idea behind this is, I believe, to put your hydration hose and the bottom of the shoulder straps have the quick release on them. There's a little 511 insignia here. And what it doesn't really show you on the video is these are really well constructed. The material feels like the material you might feel on a Carhartt jacket. And there's padded waist straps with molly on it. And they have the back here that has these sections for airflow. And 
and there's extra padding in these spots. It's got this grip here to keep it from sliding on your back. Here's a grommet hole for water, for uh, water that may leak, leak in within it. And here's a loop to hold your hydration. And the hose does go through here and out of the front. You could bring it out of one of those holes. And this pack does have an internal frame, a semi frame. It has a plate and a bar. I think it's an aluminum bar, if I remember correctly. No, that's plastic too, very heavy gauge. side compartment that is sliding all over and inside it runs the whole length to the bottom and there's two internal pockets one at the top here and one here and there's an overlap for the zippers right there so the zippers are protected and the same thing on this side. It goes all the way to the bottom and it has the two pockets, the same amount of molly webbing. And then the pressure straps go over that. And then there's another pressure strap at the top and that's on both sides as well. I'm going to clip that so I can show the front the administration pocket to hold the stability. I just have a few morale patches on there. But this opens all the way, which also has molly across the front. And a good uh, strip of Velcro for morale patches right there. And when you open this, it's got a zippered mesh pocket on one side. You can put things in it that you need to grab quickly. And there's a store pocket here. So all these small items, like a flashlight and a knife, um, anything you need to grab quick and access really quick. They're the 511 emblem right there. And the administration pocket is separate from the main bag itself, so you can store a jacket in there, you can put a wool blanket in there, a tent, a uh, tarp for a shelter, anything big or awkward that doesn't fit in the pack itself, in any of the compartments you can stick in there. I've seen pictures already with soldiers in the field that had helmets in the center there. But when you open this, everything is set up in such a way that it's staggered. Um, these pockets, right here on the inside flap, are staggered from the pockets on the back and there's two large ones here that go all the way to the bottom and there's another one right here it's got a mesh pocket you can put paracord or fire starter in there whatever you may need and it's got a big pocket right here that goes all the way to the bottom and it's pretty generous. There's like three inches of space. This compartment alone expands about three or four inches out, but when you put stuff in it, it's probably more like five. And there's a couple of pouches, a couple of uh, little compartments here for pens or markers right here. Three of them. And there's another one on the other side that's larger 
which I'm guessing is for a flashlight and I just have some body lotion in there and there's larger ones in the front here that seal shut with velcro there's a little key lanyard on each side and there's another pocket here that goes all the way to the bottom yeah this bag is definitely compartment and pocket friendly so if you're somebody that likes gadgets and pockets and all kinds of different places to store stuff this would definitely be the bag to get um, they retail about a hundred and fifty to two hundred and fifty bucks depending on which color you get and I seen recently that SOG did a replica of this that they sell in Walmart but I've looked at them in person recently and they are not this they sell their version for like thirty nine ninety nine and I haven't owned one myself and used it in the field but I I research and own a lot of backpacks and a lot of pouches good ones and cheap ones and backpacks are kind of my thing I've been collecting and using backpacks for a very very long time so I know quality from junk at this point and I'm not saying that the SOG is junk I'm just saying it's not this if you want one for hard use I'd recommend getting this one Here's another mesh pocket here, and I just threw some paracord in. I have paracord everywhere. Never have enough of it. I just have some random stuff in here. Some, a bunch of coffee and teas and sugars and creamers and moist towels and paper towels for drinks in there. And that's it for that compartment. And all the zippers have the flap that go over them to protect the zippers all the way around the whole bag. I do believe this bag is rated for combat use. I'm not exactly positive on that, so don't quote me. But I'm pretty sure that it is. And these four pressure straps come off so you can get to the main compartment, which opens up all the way. So the bag pretty much opens gigantically, and uh, let's see if I can show you the bag stretched out. It's probably three and a half feet, and uh, I'm gonna turn it upside down. Let's show you this part first on camera. This is the back, where the shoulder straps are. This is the top. And when you come to the top here, there's a mesh pocket that opens from both sides. So if you want to have it flipped upside down, you got to access something right that way. So if you're reaching in from the top, you can get in it either way. There's one mesh pocket here that's about twice the size. It's good for clothes, a paracord. You can organize a whole outfit of clothes here. And there's a very large pocket in the bottom. It's made out of a real heavy gauge nylon. It goes all the way down to the very bottom. And I'll flip it back again. And this is the pocket on this side. And there's another mesh pocket. And this mesh isn't cheap mesh, it's good quality. It's sewn in good, there's not frays and threads everywhere. It's really tailored very well. And you can put more clothes in there, power cord, first aid kit. Things that you need to see pretty much is what the mesh is for, that you need to visibly see that you can access quickly. And there's a really large pocket here to store stuff in it comes up free from that so you can store stuff underneath it and I mean when you have this open it's just enormous it's got a really enormous amount of space and 
as you can see. Um, it's supposed to be a 72 hour pack, but I've used this for stays in hotels and stuff like that for work during the summer months. And uh, I store seven days worth of clothes and hygiene products in here easy. Um, this is actually my second one. I had one in Coyote Can and I stupidly sold it to a, somebody who used to be a friend of mine from Texas and uh, he was nice to me for a little while and I don't really quite know what happened there but I haven't really spoken to him much since I sold him the bag. I sold it to him for a really good price for a hundred dollars for the bag and ten dollars for shipping and uh, that was a very dumb move so I went ahead and got another one this one's the one in flat earth, flat dark earth, and it's darker. I would say it's more of a coyote brown. Um, here's coyote can next to it, and you can see the color variation. This one's a full-size day pack that expands out all the way. I've done a review of this. This is my camelback hog, 100 ounce, and I got the black hog, 6x6x4 three in the front and that's my review of the 511 Rush Tactical 72 bag and there's another patch here for Molly and you can put your Molly straps behind that so you can attach over the top of that if you had to I just got the little coffee shop of horror morale patch there and uh, everything is double stitched everywhere on this bag what I'm assuming is nylon ballistic nylon thread and uh, it, it also has a uh, grommet hole two grommet holes on the bottom I'm sorry here's the last part of the bag I'm going to show and there's molly straps on here in case you want to tether like a uh, tent or a wool blanket or something else and uh, there's so many options on this bag you could do so much with this you could attach all kinds of pouches everywhere on this thing but if you're just going for a day hike this bag isn't good for that it's too big and too heavy um, if you're going for a weekend it's great um, it's definitely great for the weekend if you're gonna go longer than that it's great it's great for a bug out bag or a shift bag um, I wouldn't say this is good for a get home bag like a lot of people keep in their cars I have a get home bag too get home bag is uh, should be a smaller bag a bag that you just have enough in to get yourself home a uh, bug out bag is something for a more permanent use and you need something that holds a lot more and that's what this is and that's what this is good for and uh, they also make a version of this the 24 which is much smaller than this and the 12 which is even smaller than that and those are good for day bags and overnight bags and they're built pretty much exactly the same so if you wanted a version of this bag to use as a day pack I would check out the 12 and the 24 but anyway I'm Mike with Omega Survival and I really hope you enjoyed my video thank you for watching and please like comment and subscribe so you can see future videos of mine thank you very much and here's the bag awesome bag